I'm Dr. Anusha, Fertility Consultant from High Fertility Center. Today we are going to discuss about beta HCG. I think every fertility person would be very connected to the topic today which is going on that is beta HCG. Why beta HCG is very important? Because everyone wants it to be positive. So what is beta HCG? When we should check beta HCG? And how are we going to correlate the results of beta HCG? First, what is beta HCG? When an egg and a sperm fuses and gets attached to the uterus inside and a hormone release is called beta HCG. That hormone will be detected in the blood and urine. So when we see it after we didn't get the periods and when we check it, either it will be positive in urine, at that time we'll see in the car test and sometimes we do a blood test. So when what is indicated? At few times with the beta HCG should be checked that the blood levels is mainly for seeing the doubling, whether the doubling is happening or not. What is doubling? Generally, a beta HCG first time when we check after that, after 48 hours, ideally it should double or it should increase. If in case it is not doubling or it's not increasing, then probably we should be worried. Why is this happening? Even there is a criteria uh, with different studies tell at least 66 percentage of increase in beta HCG is needed. If that doesn't happen, then what should be we worried about? Probably the ongoing pregnancy is not a good pregnancy. So we should be little careful in seeing the further outcome for the patient and in case what is the beta hcg at a lower levels normal level is more than 50 and abnormal level is between 5 to 50 which is called as biochemical pregnancy so when it is between even 5 to 50 when we are telling this is biochemical pregnancy probably we should check a doubling after two days we need to do after 48 hours we should check the beta hcg and see whether it is doubling or not that is a criteria to check whether the ongoing pregnancy is good or not so if in case it is not doubling then what are the things what we should remember probably it is a not a good ongoing pregnancy either it is an ectopic or it is a slow growing embryo these are the three things which we should keep in mind and we should decide what we are going to do immediately i uh, suggest you to meet your doctor in case you are doing it for yourself and it should always be guided by the doctor whether the beta hcg is going on well or not Hence, what I wanted to tell in this is with one beta HCG, no one can conclude whether this is a good ongoing pregnancy or not. Always it is needed to repeat the beta HCG after 48 hours which gives us a clarity how it is going on and what is the outcome we can at least guess to a level. And always with these beta HCG values, you need to meet your doctor immediately. If you have any doubts in all these things, you can meet the doctors in High Fertility Center for further. Thank you.